Okay, welcome. If you are new to me, I'm Michelle, and you have all the bio around this video, so feel free to check me out. Today, we are going to talk about two commonly asked questions that I get all the time. What is the best platform to be on and how long do I have to wait till actually I get a coaching client? This is an opportunity for me to like really go deeper in terms of the tip that I want to share with you. So today we're going to talk about the best platform to find coaching clients and how long do you actually have to wait until you get one? So if you feel like you've been hanging out on social, you've been trying to do a lot of work, you're doing the posting, and somehow just not getting the clients. If that is you, give me a one down below in the comment because I know how you feel. Sometimes it's very discouraging, right? And recently one of my clients actually came to me and she's been consistently posting and she was uh, previously my profitable coach formula and she was all in, she created a lot of content. At some point she felt that I'm not seeing the result and this self-doubt starts to kick in, am I actually doing the right thing? So if this is how you feel, today we're going to fix that. to me, I am Michelle and I am a visibility marketing coach and I love helping female coaches to build your profitable coaching business so that you can get seen, get heard and get paying clients, right? Drop paying clients into the comment if that's what you are focusing on for the rest of the uh, quarter. I know I just posted something that you, I'm still working on January resolution. So don't talk to me about the September goal. <laughs> September goal is way too ahead. But when January came, you probably had this idea of where your business want to go and that vision of where you want to take your business. That's probably already there. You probably have it on paper. It's sitting on the desk somewhere among all the piles of ideas that you came up until this point. But somehow a lot of things had changed, maybe life changes and you got distracted. So here we are, we're in September, we're getting into September. That start from somewhere, right? When you don't know where to start, we start from somewhere. So that somewhere is me telling you and sharing what to do, which is the best platform to focus on. So tip number one, okay. Instead of thinking my client is primarily on LinkedIn or my client is primarily on Instagram. Let me know if that is how you feel. Oh, my clients are all on Instagram. Oh, my clients are all on LinkedIn. Oh, my clients are all here. They're not here. They're not on social. If that is how you feel, I need you to drop an emoji, like do a check mark, drop an emoji if that's how you feel. Now, I'm going to straight up tell you that is not true at all, right? Think about your own behavior. Do you go to Facebook? Are you checking me out on Facebook, right? Are you following me on Facebook? If you go to any type of social media platform, whether it's TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, or Facebook, if you're physically hanging out on that platform, then chances are your ideal client, your, your prospect, your paying client is also hanging out on that platform. It's just that we somehow have this assumption that, oh, because they're a working class, they're a professional woman and professional leader, and therefore I need to focus on LinkedIn, but you're not even on LinkedIn. So the best platform, and I said this so many times, right? There's so many videos that I have done that I talked about how to get clients on Facebook, how to uh, create content uh, so that you are consistent. And you can check out a lot of my YouTube channel videos. I've done a lot of uh, videos on this topic already. And the thing that keeps showing up is the best platform is actually the platform that you are on. <laughs> If you are not even on that channel, if you're not even on that platform, it doesn't matter where your client is going to hang out because you're not even on there, right? So instead of thinking that, oh, my target audience are all HR professional, they're all leaders or they're working in corporate, I want to get into the corporate world. Instead of thinking about that, thinking about what comes easy for you to create a consistent so that you can keep showing up on that same platform. If you're not even on that platform, let alone like finding your dream paying clients, right? So that's key number one is you want to be consistent on a platform 
and just be there so that you can start bringing people to you. And I see this over and over, right? Coaches have this misconception of, I need to go to where my client is. What if there's a way for you to actually bring them to you rather than you going to them, right? And that's what exactly what I teach all the time is how do you attract them so that they come to you rather than you go to them. In that case, then it doesn't matter they're on LinkedIn or if it doesn't matter they're on Instagram. I have a way of attracting them to me rather than me figuring out where is the best platform? Where do I need to go in order to have these paying clients? When you start diffusing or diffusing and figure out like, oh, where can I find them? You start doing that, you, then you'll find yourself end up being on multiple different platforms because, oh, this platform is not working. This is not where they are. You go to the next platform. Next platform, it's not working. Oh, that's not where they're hanging out. Oh, let me go to the next platform, right? So you end up being on multiple different platforms. And what do we know about being on multiple platforms? You start getting overwhelmed because you're thinking, well, I need to sh start sharing different content because people who's on Instagram, they don't want to see the stuff that's on Facebook. Uh, people on in LinkedIn, they don't want to see the stuff on Instagram. And so you put yourself into this position where you're spiraling down very quickly into this burnout stage, right? So how do we fix that? We need to fix that by just focusing on one platform where you can be consistently on. And this is something that I teach to my client all the time. I don't care which platform you're on, just pick a platform and you're gonna be on that platform, right, consistently to build your audience. So that's number one is to focus on that platform and just be, Tip number two, once you pick a platform, what you want to do is you want to start building relationship, right? What do I mean by building relationship? It's not just selling. It doesn't mean that every single day I'm going to encourage you to come and book a call with me. You know where to find me, right? Obviously, and you know where to hang out, where I hang out. So I don't need to reinforce that every single day that you need to book a call with me. You need to book a call with me. Rather, I would love to hear more about what's going on in your life, right? What's new? What are you watching right now? I'm like, like, I genuinely want to know how's it going in your life and what are you currently working on? I may not necessarily want to convert you into, like turn you into a client because maybe, maybe you're not ready at that point yet, right? But I just genuinely want to learn more about you and how I can best serve you. If you have any questions, I'm happy to be there to answer you, to guide you through. But I don't necessarily think that you're ready to be my clients yet. And that's the approach I want you to start using and thinking about building relationship. It's not just about, oh, I'm gonna create some valuable post and I'm gonna share there and I'm going to uh, let them know that they can book a call with me. If you keep doing that, what makes you different than compared to everybody else who's doing that, right? So think about how genuinely you care about the people that you connect with. So that's what you want to focus on. And that is the relationship building that I want you to focus on. So instead of just focusing on the sale, I want you to actually focusing on just having a genuine connection with the people who follow you. They're genuinely interested in what you have to say, what you have to offer. Otherwise, our time is so valuable. We're so busy on the day-to-day -day life. Instead of spending here and, and trying to read all your posts, they could spend that time doing something else. The fact that they spend some time actually following you, listen to you, you got to care for these people, right? You got to care for your audience. And how do you care? You don't keep selling them. You care, you care about the, what they're going through and how you can best serve them, how you can show up for them when they need you, when they need you, right? They might not need you at this moment, but when they do need you, they know exactly where to look for you. All right, so I think we got that clear, right? So let me just summarize. The first point is that you want to pick a platform. Don't come off as, oh, this is where my client is hanging out and therefore I need to be all on Instagram. No, think about what comes easy for you. If it's Facebook, you wake up in the morning, or maybe you have a community that you go to regularly on a daily basis and there's no way that you're not gonna be on Facebook and Facebook become easy, then just go to Facebook, right? The idea is I want to teach you a system, a strategy where people actually come to you rather than you going to all these different platforms and spreading yourself thing and actually having that burnout. Okay, to answer your question number two is how long do I actually have to wait in order for them to become my coaching client? I can spend years and years building content, but exactly, Michelle, how long do I have to wait in order to get my paying clients? So. 
here's what I want you to think about. In order to answer this question, I want you to think about go inward, right? What coaches and so a lot of things that we do, we reflect upon that journey inward. So I want you to go inside, go inward and think about your own journey. Right. A lot of time we don't notice that we have a problem until that the problem actually shows up. And when the problem do show up, we don't immediately jump into the solution. We don't immediately jump into, oh, you know what? I really need some help. I really need to talk to somebody or I really need this. Right. We take our time. How do we take our time? We think that, oh, let me just learn a little piece over here. So you start with books, maybe it's podcast, maybe it's a video like this, right? You start consuming these content. And then you realize that you take all these information, these free information that you consume over the internet or when you do Google, or nowadays you can actually search a lot of solution on ChatGPT. And so with all these solution that you start implementing on yourself, you notice that there's still a gap. Right. There's still a gap. Somehow it's just not going through. And the fact that your coach is right with the fact that coaching works and coaching works because there's accountability. There's people who have done it and who have tried it and who can give you some more um, um, insights in terms of the blind spot that you may not have noticed. Right. You can take all the strategies that you learn or things that you have learned on the Internet and you implement it. Maybe it worked, maybe it didn't. But there are some pieces of information that somehow is just missing. And that's when you start realizing that, oh, I can't do this on my own. I actually need some help. Right. And this is probably why you're watching this video, because you'll probably realize that there's something that's missing and you need that missing piece. And therefore, you're consuming more videos. And so think about that process of how you are consuming these information about a problem that you're holding on to. And for you, it could be it's marketing, right? Obviously, we're talking about marketing here. So for you, it's marketing. But for your client, it may be the negative self-talk that they're experiencing. Maybe it's a mindset work that they need to work on. So they're working on that problem and they come across your platform and they start listening to you. So how soon are you going to get that client? Well, how soon do you realize that you need to talk to somebody is the exact same time of how your client is going to marinate with that feeling of I have this problem. Oh, now I need to talk to somebody. And so everyone is different. I know that for me, when I first started out my coaching business, I, I know immediately that I needed to work with somebody because this is a problem that I have. It's burning. And I know that I want a business. It was like right after the coaching uh, certification program, I jumped into hiring a mentor coach because I knew this is something that I want to solve immediately. So for my mentor coach, it was easy, right? Cause the minute I pick up the phone, I'm like, okay, say no more, sign me up. Cause I knew that I couldn't do it myself. Now for some of the clients that you experience, they may not have that realization yet. They're still trying to like figure things out on their own. So what you can best do is just be there on the journey with them. Don't rush them. We can't rush into a relationship, right? A lot of time you'll hear me talking about this analogy of relationship. We can't rush into a relationship same thing you can rush into that coaching client relationship there's people who follow me for years right and finally they came out and said well michelle i've been following you on instagram for a long time and i'm ready right so you got to give people the time to work through some of the kinks and some of the things that they need to work through and sometimes they need to get the funding together in order to hire and work with you right so you're going to give people that time and space to work through what they need to work through in order to turn them into a paying client so instead of thinking about how soon can i get them how about think about how can i show up consistently energetically so that they know exactly where to find me when they're ready and so you'll see me sometimes uh, talking about this, especially in my email community, right? I don't just sell people. I said, when you are ready, right? That's it. When you are ready. And I may not be ready yet, so that's okay. It's okay to be not ready. But when you are ready, you know exactly where to find me because I've been consistently doing this on these platforms, right? So something to take away. So two things I want you to take away. Don't think about where you can chase them and find them. Think about what comes easy for you that you can do. You can show up every single day. Okay. Be consistent, energetically show up for them. And tip number two is you wait, 
right? It's a relationship that you're building with your audience. So don't rush someone when they're not ready. When we rush someone to not ready, the result is not going to be a hundred percent. They're not ready. Their life would be miserable. Your life would be miserable. So don't feel like you have to rush to get into coaching clients, right? So this brings me to like a third point, but I won't be able to cover that today. Is the fact that sometimes as you're building out this coaching business, you might need to have a backup plan, right? That backup plan could be I need to find a job in order to sustain so that I can build this business. And I teach the whole system and strategies of how you can do that, even working the full time. There's way to do this, but focus on your energy, yourself, right? What fills my cup? What comes easy for me? Do I like hanging out on Facebook? Have I been hanging out on Facebook? Or have I been hanging out on Instagram? Then let that be your main platform and stop worrying about where to find them. The idea is when you can do this consistently, they're going to come to you and there's a way to attract them to you. Okay, so those are the two um, key walkaway I want you to have. And if you want to learn more about how to attract your clients and using the marketing strategies I teach, I am having a bootcamp that's going to take place Friday, September 20th to the 22nd. I'm going to do this live, but I will have the recording available to you. If you signed up, you'll be getting them in the email for all the replays. So if you happen to be busy during those three days, you're welcome to grab a seat and you can go to visibilitymarketingbootcamp.com to grab a seat. And like I said, I'm going to send you the recording if you cannot make it live. I would highly encourage you to join me live because you see how I do live, right? So this is the kind of energy that you're going to enjoy and you're going to also be able to participate in the chat, ask me questions as we go. So it's gonna take place Friday, September 20th to 22nd. If you'd like to learn how I teach the formulas in how to market your coaching business, I would love for you to join me there. And for those of you who's hanging out on Instagram, I will see you tomorrow for day seven, okay, of my one tip per day. So comment down below and let me know that. Oh, thank you. See, someone already said I will be there. I'll see you. Big heart. Big heart to all of you. All right. So next week, I'll be live, same time, 12 o'clock, with another Lunch and Learn. And I will see you all there. Bye.